Hi everybody, this is Auto Tempo. Today we're installing 2012 Ford Edge. In this video, I'm going to show you the hardware specification and the feature that come with this fantastic system. Okay, this system actually is 12.1 inches high definition touchscreen. It also comes the newest version of the Android 11. It also come with the um, 4 gb of RAM and 64 gb of storage memory. It also support the 4G LTE. Okay, and you also and you also come with the offline navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, uh, and Android Auto. It's fully compatible with the steering wheel control. Okay, so basically, as you can see, okay, and uh, they also come the offline navigation when you can on the uh, navigation right here you can uh, and uh, you can use the navigation here and you also come with the uh, you can download any of the application to the system as well okay so for example as long as you connect to the Google App Store here you can download the uh, Prime Video, Netflix, um, YouTube you know anything you can even download the Facebook all those kind of feature and of course you can also install the offline navigation as well as, as you can see the offline navigation, um, the actually Google Map, they also come with the offline feature. How to, okay, let's start from uh, the Wi Fi, okay? How to connect to the Wi Fi? Just pull down from the top of the menu, okay? And then you can see the Wi Fi icon here, hold the icon, and then turn on the Wi Fi hotspot on the cell phone, and then you can connect to the Wi Fi, all right? Once you connect to the Wi Fi, just like what I mentioned, you can go log into your Google App Store, you can download all the application as well, okay? And um, once you uh, install the offline navigation, you can also use this one to um, install the navigation here. This is the built-in navigation. You don't need to connect to any Wi-Fi to use the GPS, okay? How to use it? Just click on the bottom right corner here, new road address, and then you can enter the address right here. And of course, the just like what I mentioned, the Google Map also comes with the offline feature. How to use the offline feature for the Google Map? Basically, you just need to click on the icon right here, offline map, and then you can download select your own map, and then you can download the map data to the unit, all right? And of course, it's also fully compatible with all the temperature right here, as you can see. Um, you can also adjust the temperature. If you click on the dual climate control, you can also change the temperature from individually on the driver side and the uh, passenger side as you can see you also support the heat seat cooling seat all this kind of feature okay it's fully compatible as well okay so um it's pretty cool okay for this one actually it also support the video in motion okay let me turn on the car first okay video in motion that means while you're driving you can also watch the movie for the passenger <laughs> Okay, as you can see, the white solution of the screen actually is very good. Mission has been compromised. Okay, so basically it's done. Okay, and also other than that, I'm gonna go through some of the uh, setting way right here. So this is some also come the two interface way right here, modern film. Okay, this is another film here. Once you change the film, and then as you can see, okay, you can see that. Um, you can you 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 will just change to another kind of film, okay? So this is pretty cool, okay? And also you can uh, change back to daytime mode or nighttime mode. Okay, this one also is the dimmer. You can also adjust the dimmer right here. Depends, okay? And the hustle button is right here. You can also turn on the hustle button. It will light up here. The hustle button is right here at the bottom right here, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's pretty. And this system also support the original camera. If your car comes the original camera, you also support the original camera. And if your car does not come the camera, you can also install the aftermarket camera right here. This is the aftermarket camera. You can see that it's very nice. Okay, so it's automatic. You can also adjust the brightness. Okay, you can also adjust the brightness. You also come the light vision as well. Okay, so. And other than that, uh, this one also um, provide with some of the setting. Okay, as you can see, it comes the couple uh, icon right here, which will allow you to customize the screen. Okay, how to do that? Just go to setting right here, user. Okay, and then app customize. You can define the um, every single app right here. All right, and then um, of course you can also change the boot up logo. Okay, you can uh, buy USB. This one also support the original USB as well. Okay. So other than that, perfect, and it's pretty much that's it. Okay, and of course you also come with the um video in motion. You can download any of the application here, like the Prime Video, and 
also done on any application right here. This is also support the uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. I'm gonna show you how to connect to the wireless Apple CarPlay. Before you connect to the wireless Apple CarPlay, I will suggest you to close all the application right here, okay, on this icon, close all, okay? And then once it's done, and then you can bring out your cell phone. Okay, bring out your cell phone right here. The wireless Apple CarPlay, they use, y, uh, they use Bluetooth to pair the beginning, but once you get paired, you will automatically switch to the Wi-Fi at the background. Just keep that in mind. So first of all, you need to bring out your cell phone, go to Bluetooth, click on the connection icon right here, okay? And then you will see um, the device name right here. Search or connect on your cell phone. Pair, allow, done. Once it's done, you will automatically bring you to this Apple CarPlay. Um, software okay and then you need to grant a file session on the cell phone okay use carplay this is wireless apple carplay okay this one also support the split screen uh you can also support the split screen feature way right here you can also make the phone call read the message okay you can also uh do anything right here okay but apple carplay just keep that in mind it doesn't provide with the youtube feature because it's brought by uh apple right uh however you can also use the uh, the passenger will also be able to um watch the youtube when you switch back to the um Android face, okay. So how to go back to the end, uh, the Apple CarPlay? Just get on the home screen, Car Auto. You will bring you back to the um, Apple CarPlay. You will also connect all your navigation here, okay. You also synchronize your phone, all right. See, so also support the voice control. The original voice control button on the steering wheel will not be working anymore. Just keep that in mind because they already swapped out the original unit. However, you can. This is the radio. We can explain to the radio later. Okay. So how to use the voice control? Hold the uh, bottom left corner here. Bring me to the gas station. One option is ESO on Kennedy Road. Does that one sound good? What's the temperature today? The high temperature today will be negative two As you can see, Celsius. The voice control is very nice, okay? So basically, you can also listen to the music and everything, all right? So I'm gonna show you, for example, right now you are using the Apple CarPlay. As you can see on the cell phone, it shows not connected, which is absolutely normal, okay? Do not manually connect back to the Bluetooth, okay? How to, uh, for example, now I want to switch to the Wi-Fi, okay? I want to uh, watch the YouTube. Then you need to disconnect the Apple CarPlay. How to do that? Just go to setting of your cell phone, okay? Search CarPlay. As you can see, this device is for this screen, okay? Click on this one, turn off the CarPlay, and then the whole CarPlay will be off. Now you can turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot on the cell phone and connect to the wireless, uh, connect to the um, Wi-Fi, all right? Just keep that in mind. And then, as you can see, it's very nice, okay? So this is the radio right here. Okay. In order to save the channel of the radio, you probably, you also need to go to here. Okay, click on the screen and then you can hold it, okay? This is how you save the channel, okay? Click on exit, the radio will be off, okay? If you want the radio to be one in the background, just go to home, okay? And then the radio will be one in the background, okay? And then, other than that, you can also Go to equalizer. The system also come to equalizer way right here. Just go to the setting way right here, audio, and then you can see the equalizer way right here. They come to many multiple feature of the equalizer. Okay, so it will allow you to control all the uh, setting for the audio, even your aftermarket amplifier subwoofer. Right? Okay. If you mess up with any setting, okay. So uh, for example, you uh, you have some um, some issue for the speaker. You could click on reset to reset everything to the factory default. Okay. I can see I just mess up something. Then just click on reset. Right. Okay, my game it will allow you to change the microphone uh, sensitivity. Okay, sound. Uh, this this one will allow you to change the volume on every single specific feature. Okay, it's very nice and the system is very responsive. As you can see, if you don't want to turn on the video in motion for security reason or safety reason, then you can turn on this one. Okay, and the boot up, boot up logo you can also change the boot up logo from here. All right. 
and um, yeah you can also change the radio station to North America depends on your country right if you're in Europe then you need to change this one to Europe all right and you do this okay if in US then you need to change this one to US unit all right to uh, for mile and also the Fahrenheit and then everything can be addressed from the screen okay setting guide and then this one uh, this will we allow you to change some other feature okay if you're coming to Sony amplifier you can also turn on the factory amplifier if your white hand drive for your code you need to turn on the white hand drive all right wait the sign if you click on the backup sensor to turn on this one if you guys have any question about the system you can also contact us auto tempo this system can also be purchased from our website www.autotempo.com thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye